Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Miss Lauren the 11. Today I am going through the seven assumptions that people have made about my hair. You're going to want to stick around to the end because number seven is absolutely ridiculous. The first assumption made about my hair is that my hair is chemically treated. I've had people tell me many times that I have a jerry curl when I had my hair in wash and goes. I could see how they think that, but no, it's my natural texture. My hair is not chemically treated. I've mentioned in the past that I used to have my hair relaxed and I don't have an issue with saying that if my hair was chemically treated I would tell you guys that's the first assumption. Assumption two is that I have good hair. What is good hair? Is good hair when someone is mixed or is good hair when someone is black but their hair looks mixed? Your hair can be the kinkiest, I don't even like saying this word, however how we look after our hair makes our hair good. So technically, no, I don't have good hair. My hair has been trashed. My hair has been breaking off and dry and brittle. That to me is bad hair. Yes, my hair may be softer texture than some. However, my daughter's hair, she's between predominantly 4B. So she's got a mixture of 4A, 4B. If I leave my daughter's hair alone without putting any moisture, i.e. water or hair grease, her hair will be dry. However, I do not believe she has bad hair. When I put water and hair grease in her hair, her hair actually looks softer than mine when her hair is moisturized. Number three, okay, people have asked me in the past. Now, I've explained in a video, I cannot remember what video it was, that I've done my DNA ancestry, and yes, I do have a mixture. I have a heritage of Scottish, Irish, Welsh, predominantly Nigerian, Congolese, Benin and Togo. My mum is a fairer colour than me. Her curls are tight like mine, however, her strands are softer than mine. She has obviously got a mixture in her, but again, her parents, my grandparents, are not black and white. My grandma's very fair, my granddad's my complexion. Number four, your hair grows fast anyway. My hair doesn't actually grow very fast. I might have had my hair in a protective style like this for a while. It depends on certain factors. Factor being when I notice quicker growth is when my hormones are balanced, when I'm eating correctly, when I'm drinking water in the daily intake, I should say, and also when I'm taking certain vitamins. A good vitamin I take that helps my skin, nails and hair is wheat germ oil. It grows quick because I leave it alone. grows quick because I wear it stretched. If I'm wearing a wash and go, I don't really notice the length too much because my hair is predominantly out. But if I've got my hair in a protective style like I do now and I take it out, yes, I'll notice the growth. If you can see, I've got some growth here. Okay, so number five, as I said, me and my mom have similar curl patterns. Our curls coil the same. However, her strands are a lot different from mine. My hair is more like Afro hair. Just for a disclaimer guys, going through the typing system, I'm only explaining the typing system because I know a lot of people follow that. Personally for me, I don't necessarily like the, the typing system because I have so many different textures of hair on my head anyway. I had a comment and someone said to me, your hair is 3B, my hair is 3B. My hair is not 3B, I have hints of 3c at the ends of my hair where they're looser curls basically she was telling me my hair is 3a and 3b because my hair is exactly the same as hers my hair strands on my head aren't even exactly the same as each other i feel that our hair patterns on our head is unique to us just like our fingerprints okay, assumption number six before we get on to number seven the most annoying one the assumption made about my natural hair is that it's thick. Now guys, my hair is not thick. I have a lot of strands. My strands are fine. My hair is dense and compact. Right guys, so before we get to the end of this video, number seven is the most annoying one. And number seven is anything works in my hair. Anything works in my hair. This is the one that irks me. No, not everything works in my hair. I've shown you videos, guys, where certain gels don't work in my hair, certain hair greases don't necessarily work for my hair. 
and I will go on to that maybe in another video. You have to figure out what works for your hair, guys, and that's what I've done. When I've figured out what works for my hair and actually what doesn't work for my hair, I will then bring it to you, which I have done and which I do. What works for my mum's hair, even though our curl patterns are very similar, what she uses on her hair is more watery. If I use stuff that's watery in my hair, my hair shrinks up, frizzes, what have you. She can use a more water-based product on her hair and she'll get beautiful ringlets because her strands don't frizz up, they just curl. Mine will frizz. So before you click off, now you know the seven assumptions that are made about my natural hair. You're going to want to know how I keep my hair in such good condition. For this guys, you're going to be very surprised. It's just one old school product and one old school method. You're going to want to click onto this next video to get your hair in the best condition. So click this video now. 